Ahead of counting of votes, which is to take place tomorrow, the exit polls forecast clean sweep for the Bharatiya Janata Party in four out of five states. Pollsters predict BJP as the largest party in Uttar Pradesh, Uttarakhand, Goa, and Manipur. Cracks appear in Samajwadi Party Congress Alliance ahead of the Saturday vote count. Senior SP leader Ravidas Mehrotra questions the benefits of aligning with the Congress and claims that party would have performed better alone. With exit polls predicting a hung assembly, Uttar Pradesh Chief Minister Akhilesh Yadav did not completely rule out a post-poll tie-up with the BSP to prevent BJP from coming to power in the state. Exit polls indicated the BJP emerging as the single largest party in the state. Election Commission working to make bribery in elections a cognizable offence. In an interview to a newspaper, Commission Chief Nazim Zaidi says state funding of elections can come subject to deep reforms in the entire system. Supreme Court issues bailable warrant against Calcutta High Court Judge Justice C.S. Karnan for failing to appear in contempt case against him. A seven-judge bench headed by Chief Justice J.S. Kehar passed the order asking him to appear before the court by 31st March. Women's Day celebrations continue as the maternity benefit amendment bill gets green signal from the Lok Sabha. The bill seeks to increase maternal leaves from 12 weeks to 26 weeks had already been passed by the Rajya Sabha during the winter session. The bill protects employment during pregnancy. A thunder squall followed by hailstorm hit Shimla and its surrounding areas while fresh snowfall was witnessed in high hills and tribal areas brought the cold wave conditions across the state. The lower reaches witnessed winds which brought the temperature down. Shimla was slashed by thunder squall followed by hailstorm disrupting normal life. The Jammu Srinagar National Highway is closed for vehicular traffic from both the sides for the third consecutive day today. Srinagar and other places received light snowfall as the Met Department predicted that light to moderate rain or snowfall is likely to occur during the next two to three days. INS Tilan Chang, a water jet fast attack craft commissioned into the Indian Navy at Karwa Naval Base in Karnataka. INS Tilan Chang is the third ship of four attack craft built by the Garden Ridge Shipbuilders and Engineers Kolkata. The first two ships of the class, INS Targ Mughli and INS The Yahoo, were commissioned in 2016 and are based at Vishakhapatnam. India and Belgium signed a protocol amending the existing agreement and protocol between the two countries for avoidance of double taxation and the prevention of fiscal evasion with respect to taxes on income. CBDT chairman signed the protocol which will broaden the scope of the existing framework of exchange of tax-related information. The death toll in the bus accident in western Nepal has climbed to 25. The bus carrying 60 people had veered off the road and plunged down about 200 meters from a highway yesterday. Over 40 people have been injured in the mishap. South Korean president was fired by the country's top court as it upheld her impeachment by parliament over a wide-ranging corruption scandal. The unanimous decision brought months of political turmoil to a climax and triggers a new presidential election which is to be held within 60 days. Chorus against Trump administration's new travel ban order increases. Three states join Hawaii in legally challenging the order. Claims the new order also discriminates against Muslims. New York maintains the new directive is a ban on Muslims, while Washington contends it is harmful to the state. Massachusetts later joined them. Minnesota and Oregon are reportedly also filing lawsuits seeking to block the ban, which begins on the 16th of March. The United States sent 400 additional troops to Syria to support an allied local force aiming to capture the so-called Islamic State stronghold of Raqqa. They include Marines who arrived in the past few days. U.S. Special Forces are already in Syria. PV Sindhu crushed in Nation Dina De Oistin 21-12, 21-4 to enter the quarterfinals of the All England Open Badminton Championships on Thursday, while compatriot Saina Nehewal to booked her place in the last eight of the tournament after a 21-18, 21-10 win over German qualifier Fabienne Depres.